What's going on everyone? Brain here, welcome back in another video. Today we're here in NASCAR Heat 2 for Race 5 at 23 <laughs> here at Charlotte for the NC Education Lottery 200. Last race was at Kansas. We ended up finishing 14th. Not too good of a race, but it doesn't matter. We are locked into the playoffs here. We got two wins. Chase Briscoe also has two wins, so there has only been two winners this year. Uh, let's take a look at the playoff standings right there. I got 11 playoff points. Chase Briscoe with two because I have a stage win. So yeah, um, here are the race settings right there. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into this race. So here we are at the beautiful Charlotte Motor Speedway. There is my beautiful number 27 Safe Light Auto Glass Toyota Tundra right there. Looking very good. There is turn four right there. It's got a beautiful view. There's the back stretch with the huge jumbo TV. Turn one and two right there. And yeah, so let's go ahead and get into this. Let's go ahead and go. All right, here coming off turn number four to complete our qualifying lap. Probably going to be 32nd. Let's see. Yep, 32nd. All right. Well, okay, I guess that'll work. We weren't that far off. Okay. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into this race. Ready. Ready. Okay. Green flag is out. We are underway here at Charlotte for the NC Lo Education Lottery 250 or whatever it's called. Coming off turn four here to complete lap one of stage one. Already trying to work our way up. There's just really nowhere to go. Going on the outside of Matt Mills and Jennifer Joe Cobb. We hit the wall and we're in the wall still. And we fall all the way back to 32nd. There's just not really any room to pass here at Charlotte until they get spread out. I want to try to work my way that inside. We make contact with Spencer Boyd right there. My bad, Spencer. Didn't mean to do that there. So we're going to take it three wide here. Once I think once we're on the inside, we're going to start making up some old like a lot of ground like a really good amount of ground here um because uh we could just get the runs down the straight and just take it in three wide into the corners and shove everyone up the track like that oh i didn't want to get him doing that much sorry tj bell now we're back to the outside which is not what we want but we should be able to clear play greenfield here and we do and back to the inside so we're up in the top uh, 24 right now which is good Austin Hill right there is going extremely slow don't know if we're going to be able to get up there by the end of this stage but we're going to try six to go Let's do whatever we can here Stuart Friesen tried to cut me off there don't appreciate that I got loose though wow my bad trying to get around Brandon Brown and that number 86 hashtag Teal Nation or whatever truck it is. Some college, I know that. Ooh. Five to go in this stage. We're up to 17th. We might be able to crack the top 10. See what we can do here. Already up to 17th. We're trying to get a run on Travis Quaffle here, so make a move in going into three and four. Looks like we're going to be able to do that, no problem. Easy peasy. Got really loose. Wow. Caution. Oh wow, this changes everything. Um. Maybe some strategy. Yeah, let's play some strategy. Wait, how many laps to go? 29? Alright, we're gonna pit here. And we'll restart 31st, but that's okay, because there's only gonna be like two to go on the stage. So we'll be able to stay out, I believe, in the next stage. After the end of the stage, take the lead and just go all the way. So, green flag back in the air. I hope at least. Oh, one to go. Okay, yeah. We should be able to do this strategy. Try to gain as many spots as possible, though these fresh tires down the back stretch here to come into three and four 
and we'll be able to complete stage one here hopefully 24th but it ain't gonna happen because clay greenfield slows us up and oh well, maybe yeah we will definitely 19th we finish the stage so we're gonna be able to stay out right here under this yellow go ahead and take the lead and hopefully try to hang on to win stage two here so yeah okay wow they're not the only ones who stayed out that's surprising so we're gonna restart 13th, so maybe that strategy didn't work, but you know what, we can still come up through this field. So green flag back in the air. This is a nine lap stage, we got plenty of fuel. Already being aggressive here and making moves. Three wide with Brandon Brown and J. Austin Wayne Self. <laughs> oh man, I get them confused. Damn, same old paint schemes. Man, yeah, we do have a fast truck, though. Oh, I gotta get back to the inside. Yep, Ryan Truck is there. Oh, we might wreck. Saved it, though. Whew. Man, I got such a run through there. Gonna just take it to this very outside, ride the wall, and that's not gonna help us at all. We get passed by Ryan Truex and Austin Wayne Self. Hey, I got it right that time. And fall back to the 10th position. Uh doing everything I can. Ooh, Austin Wayne self, you weren't clear there, bud. Seven to go in this stage. So yeah, if we pit at the end of this stage and everyone else behind us pits, because I think they will. We should cycle out in a really good position. So this could be a very good strategy. And uh, if it works out, we get our third win of the season. That'd be pretty damn impressive. Oh, I got really loose and tight at the same time right there. My bad, Austin. Uh, you know what? Screw Austin, Drake. You know what? You called my driving absolute garbage. And I don't appreciate that. If you guys didn't see that video, please go watch it. That's freaking hilarious, that video. That video made me LOL. So we're up to fourth right now. Just probably, um, maybe settle in here. I don't know. Uh, I don't know how many there are to go in the stage. Oh, they're pitting. Okay, so yeah. We're going to go ahead and take the lead. And looks like take a pretty commanding lead. So yeah. And the white flag is waving here in stage two. One more time around, we got about a three, two and a half second lead here over Noah Gregson in, in second place. Cody Coughlin, 3.1 seconds back in third. Grant and Fingers, 3.3 seconds back in fourth. Chase Briscoe, 3.6 seconds back in fifth. So it looks like we just got to make it through three and four. And we are going to be uh, coming home with, I believe, our second stage win of the season. So we're going to come off turn number four and to the start finish line the green and white checkered flag is out stage winner blg so awesome so uh, if my strategy works out everyone will pit here and go ahead and they will take the, their tires their fuel and we'll uh, gear up for stage number three so yeah let's go ahead and there are the playoff points right there that we all i get the playoff point and there are the stage points everyone gets uh we're gonna pit here we're gonna restart no uh, lower than seventh so let's go ahead take four cans of, two cans of fuel four tires and I guess repair some damage and let's get after it here and here we go we'll get ready and the green flag is out we are underway here in stage number three the final stage and the last student to the finish 12 to go probably not gonna have enough fuel to make it to the end it's going to cycle down to 11 laps of fuel left about right here-ish. It should any second. And if it doesn't, we might be in a good good position to win. So yeah, we looks like we may be in a good position to win because it hasn't cycled down yet. Wow, okay. I'll take that. 11 to go. And wow, they are here right now. Oh my gosh. They caught up somehow. Cody Coughlin and Christopher Bell, Grant Infinger, and John Hunter Nemechek are charging. 
trying to get this lead away from me with six laps to go here at Charlotte. I just can't run that inside like I want to. I'm stuck on the second lane because that's where my truck wants to go. And they are just making up a whole bunch of time on me. They're going to probably pass me for the lead here in one of these corners. Just going to see if we can hold them off. Oh, yeah, here comes Cody Coughlin. I get a little bit tight right there. I'm in the wall a little bit, and that's going to allow him to go to the inside and make the pass on me. Cody Coughlin to the lead here at Charlotte with five laps to go. Christopher Bell now trying to get around me as well as Grant Enfinger. So I'm getting passed by three other Toyotas. Oh, no. I want to win. This is getting good. I'm pushing as hard as I can. It's just my car does not want that inside at all. And it gets tight in the middle of the corners. Hey, oh, wow, Cody Coughlin's coming down pit road. And that slowed up Christopher Bell and Grant Infinger. So we are back to the lead here at Charlotte with four laps to go. So, yeah, some people are thinking they're not going to be able to make it on fuel to the end. Okay, that's interesting. I'm stretching it. I got nothing to lose. We got our two wins. We are locked in the playoffs. It'd be nice to add a third win. Just, to, you know pretty much guarantee ourselves at this point of the season even though it's early and we're gonna get many more wins most likely it's just time to go for wins now at this point of the season I really don't care what happens here I mean yeah if I don't win this I'd be kind of disappointed because we are dominating this last stage but yeah whatever happens it'll just play out however it wants to uh, and if I have to looks like everyone else is coming down for fuel I'll just stop by grab maybe a half tank of fuel and just go about my way as long as uh, all everyone else pits if someone stays out I'm just going to the end it's like Grant Infinger is the only one who has been staying out with me so far and he is me and him are the last two that have not pitted in this uh, stage so yeah here we come I believe two to go yep two to go is Infinger down I think Infinger is down yes he is <sighs> so we're gonna pit Take all that, and we're going to restart probably second. Yep. All right. Time to freaking go. NASCAR overtime here. Oh, okay. Here we go. We'll get ready. Green flag is back in the air. Oh, I kind of missed the shift there a little bit, but we still get a great restart. And we're going to clear Grant Infinger by the time we get to turns one and two. And wow, I'm actually going to the inside. This is a very uh, big surprise. But Grant and Fingers got such a run. I got a block. Block. That's going to allow Christopher Bell to come through the outside. No, that's Corbin Forrester to come to the outside. Grant and Finger dives it in there. He makes contact with me. I'm up to track and into the wall. Oh, now I'm back to third. And Forrester hits me. And we're wrecking. And no caution. And the caution is out. Race is over. Go oh, holy crap. Okay. Oh my gosh, and we're going to finish that. Oh my jeez, is that self? Oh my god, I feel bad for him. Poor guy. Um, he's like dying. Okay, whatever. I'll take it, I guess. Uh, kind of have no choice at this point. Um, but yeah, uh, that was kind of bad. Don't know about that race. I <sighs> kind of got screwed there at the end. My fault. Partly his, partly mine, but we'll take it. We'll go. So, seventh place, not bad. Good point day, at least. So, yeah, um, Grandfinger gets the win. Somehow the winner was lapped down. And um, let's take a look at the standings. We're up to third. Uh, so finally a new winner this season. Because coming into this race, it was only me and Chris and Chase Briscoe who had wins. We had two wins apiece. And now uh, Grandfinger gets a win. So, yeah, that looks about it. We had the fast lap, of course, because we are the best. And... Um, but no, yeah, that was a pretty good race, pretty fun, had a good time, so yeah, um, next race at Dover for the Bar Harbor 200, so yeah, if you guys did enjoy this video, give it a like, subscribe for more content, and comment something in the comment section, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, I'll see y'all next video, peace.